Well, here on the Now Buffalo, we know your money is important to you, so we're looking at some expectations when it comes to tipping. Many places suggest you leave a little something, from carry out to fast casual, but it can be hard to know how much. Well, the Now's Annie Taylor is getting answers tonight from an etiquette expert. As we get busier, we expect more services to be performed for us, but with each service, that means we have to tip somebody. And etiquette expert Christy Porter says that we need to think of services in three categories. And then once we split those up, we will tip accordingly. First, sit down restaurants. Porter says tipping is obligatory. You have to remember that it's generally not just the wait person that you're tipping in a restaurant scenario. There's so many behind the scenes people that share in those tips. When it comes to how much to tip, Porter says 20% is standard across the board, even if your service isn't the best. By sliding the tip, to the weight person, you might think you're sliding just the weight person, you're really shortchanging all of those behind the scenes people too. If your service is really bad, Porter says to tip 15%, but to also speak with a manager. Second, delivery. Porter says the less work you do, the more you need to shell out. If you order pizza on a Friday night, you should expect to tip 15%. That's because someone had to make it and then use their personal car to deliver it. Third is for pickup. Porter says you're putting in some of the effort. Takeout might be just 10% if I've gotten out of the car and grabbed it myself. I don't know about you, but tipping can get kind of complicated, especially when it comes to be outside of the restaurant. Now, there are ride shares, there are coffee shops, and Porter says when it comes to ride shares, you shouldn't feel obligated to tip the driver because the website already says that the tip is included. However, when it comes to coffee shops, I'm not making a latte at my house, so I should be tipping the barista one or two bucks. For the now, I'm Annie Taylor.